They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and today I'm going to show you six must-go places for breakfast in Lincoln, Nebraska. Let's go! <music> What's up everybody? My name is Heidi Brandt and I'm a real estate agent with Home Real Estate and I'm making videos on what it's like to live, work, and play here in Lincoln, Nebraska. If you want to know more about what it's like to live here, work here, or you're passing through and some things to do, subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave a comment, and there'll be more to come. Today's video I want to share with you six of my favorite places to go for breakfast. One of my favorite things to do, get up, go for coffee, have some breakfast, especially when it's nice outside, you can sit outside. Um, so I'm gonna share with you six of my favorite spots in and around Lincoln. Um, the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Hub Cafe. And if you saw the coffee video, the Hub Cafe was in there as well. It's one of my favorite spots. They have amazing food, um, great little spot on the bike path just north of 21st and O. So when it's nice enough out, you can actually ride your bike there um, and then sit outside on the patio. But they have amazing food. They have great breakfast skillets. Um, they carry Holly's Healthy Holes, which if you don't know are protein donuts, which don't sound amazing, but they are. Um, Holly's Healthy Holes are actually all over Lincoln in different coffee shops, but they're good as well. Um, the chef and the owner are really big on supporting local, so most of their food comes from local farmers and growers, um, which is really cool. So check out the Hub Cafe. It's one of my favorite spots um, in the middle of town, close to the university as well, so easy access, but just north of 21st and O on the bike path. The second one I'm gonna talk about is another favorite spot, not just for breakfast, but for dinner as well. But on Saturdays and Sundays, at 8, they open at 8 a.m. and it's the Green Gateau. Um, also uh, just a little bit off of the beaten path of being downtown, but it's a great little spot. Um, the executive chef and owner, Eric Lemke there, is a big believer as well as farm to table. So supporting local growers and farmers, breweries, bakeries, uh, most of the food comes from local spots. So. They have amazing food as well. Their brunch is, is something that's really worth the wait for. Sometimes you have to make a reservation or wait a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. Um, the Green Gateau, which is, like I said, just off the beaten path of being right downtown in Lincoln here. Uh, the next one I'm gonna talk about is Cultiva Espresso and, and Crepes. So if you like crepes, I love crepes because you can do so much with them, but they are known for really amazing crepes and they've got their sweet and their savory ones. Um, the savory one, they have one that's called a lemon balm. The savory one they have is called the nor'easter. And after living in Massachusetts for 10 years, I would much rather eat something called the nor'easter than uh, live in it because it's not fun. But the nor'easter has salmon and capers and uh, some really good stuff, it makes it really savory. So. They also have something called Johnny Cakes, which if you don't know what Johnny Cakes are, they're just basically pancakes with cornbread, so they're a little bit sweeter, but it's different, nice little treat. Um, Cultiva is also a coffee roaster, and they have three locations in and around Lincoln, so super easy to get to. Um, go check them out if you're looking for a little bit different breakfast um, with some crepes to go for breakfast and coffee. Uh, the next one we we'll talk about is Waffleopolis and I'm not gonna say that three times fast, but Waffleopolis is obviously waffles. And the cool thing about this is they are in Sebastian's Table, which in a video coming up about the top restaurants in Lincoln, Sebastian's Table will be on that. But during the mornings, they've turned it into a breakfast place with waffles and really cool spot. They also have like sweet and savory options. Um, they have some options for kids called Little Wizards and they have some walnuts, I think, around the weekends, which are basically donuts, uh, waffle donuts. And, but it's a really neat spot. Um, they turn Sebastian's Table into a breakfast place during the morning and then back into Sebastian's Table for the restaurant at night, so super cool. It is on South 84, so off the beaten path of downtown quite a ways, but really worth going to. It's a fun little spot to go, especially with the kids. Um, the next one we're gonna talk about is a little bit more diner style and it's one of my favorite spots for just traditional breakfast is Penelope's Little Cafe. And if you want just good old fashioned breakfast of eggs, hash brown, bacon, toast, um, this is a really cool spot. It is basically in the middle of Lincoln. 
Um, but they do some fun things too. So I know for Valentine's Day, they did red velvet pancakes. I think they do some fun things like that through the year with different holidays or days. Um, but just a good traditional breakfast place uh, if you want just good bacon, eggs, and hash browns. Um, Penelope's Little Cafe. And the last one I wanna share with you is called Tina's Cafe. And it is another traditional style, diner style breakfast place, but they are also known for their ginormous cinnamon rolls. So if you're looking for a sweet treat in the morning, um, check out Tina's Cafe. They have kind of a fun menu. It's based on car parts and racing and all that kind of stuff, but their menu is pretty fun. Um, it's a good place to take your kids and just go have a really traditional style breakfast. So those are my six must go places for breakfast. Runs the gamut of the style of food you're gonna get and the atmosphere as well, but they're all amazing. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see you on the next video.